We've um, we've been over a lot of that game, and um, yeah, I think the boys, you know, acquitted themselves very well. Obviously, you know, we never want to lose in Tolman Park, uh, but I think there was loads of good stuff from our point of view, both sides of the ball, in terms of how we defended phase play, how we attacked in phase play. Um, you know, we had some great moments at scrum time. You know, so there was loads of good stuff. You know, but you're against a quality side. You know, you'd have to say. You know, they're up there in the, the top two or three in Europe, really. Uh, they posed us loads of, uh, loads of questions. And, and by and large, I think our boys responded really, really well. Um, you know, we got caught uh, a couple of times in terms of, um, you know, m just in terms of reads uh, out of mall plays and stuff like that. But these are things we can improve on. And, um, you know, all in all, I think we'd be... Disappointed with how it went, how it, with the result, but in, in terms of a performance, uh, there was loads of good in it. You know, I've been involved in the game a long time myself, and, and uh, you know, you see big men, you're used to seeing big men, but, you know, you did take a... I must admit, I, I took a second look at uh, Miafu and these guys. They're, they're proper mountains, they really are. And um, I thought in phase play, we did really well against them. Um, you know, I think uh, Dupont find a, found a little bit of a hole at one stage off a good work from his pack. But by and large, our phase play D after, after three phases was really, really good, really tight. Um, it's obviously difficult in those those tight exchanges in the mall where you're against sheer body weight just trying to find your slots trying to get there early it's tough it's tough against men like that but um you know we dug we dug in well we dug in well we had we had difficult moments at times but look true to our boys they're brave you know they get stuck in and um you know we're, we're, we're working hard there's no doubt about that yeah we're very much a work in progress that that's that's definitely a, a fact and you know, we're just, just after doing a really good session there in Tolman Park. Um, really, really good quality. It was our first time getting out on the pitch this week. And, um, yeah, we, we trained really well. So we've had a good chat around, you know, things that we have we need to improve on, you know, our, our, in terms of how we defend from mall phases and stuff like that. Um, you know, and obviously the threat that Northampton are going to bring. They're, uh, they're a side, obviously, that had a tough weekend last weekend, but... You know they've got a lot of quality in their team, and you know they're the the best in terms of gain line attack in the Premiership at the moment. So they're they're going to present uh, challenges in many ways. It is a battle of the gain line really in terms of who's who's going to win it, pure and simple. Um, you know we have to be very good in our contacts. Obviously we have to set ourselves up to be well to be good in the tackle, to be good in our two man shots. You know to apply pressure around the breakdown in a constructive manner, not to give away penalties you know the last thing we want to do is to dive into rocks and expose ourselves in terms of our in, a, in terms of our defensive chain or, or else give away penalties which allows access deep into the 22 and allows that mauling game to, to come into play so yeah we have to be very measured we have to uh, be aggressive you know our line speed our connections you know they've got a you know someone like Mitchell who plays at nine he'll test us around the rock so in terms of our you know our pillar and 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 our uh, our next defender out from that we have to be very uh, calculated and disciplined in our in our role I didn't I didn't think it was too bad I think you you just kind of when, when you're playing in them games you, you find yourself in a bit of a moment or like a flow or whatever and you're just completely focused on everything that's going on in that game and in that moment and you, you you're in and living in each of their moments um, you obviously there'll be moments where say like there's, there's a break in play or whatever then you'll take in the crowd or you'll take in the fog or whatever's going on but you know as you're playing you're just so especially when you're playing against players like Intermac and Dupont you, you can't have a minute to think about anything else rather than what's on the task so uh, it, to be honest it was it wasn't too challenging in the sense of like I was just fully you have to be focused and if you once you're in that flow then it's happy days I think as a backline, we're always trying to look for work and we're actually probably just given like a lot of freedom to be able to get off the edges, get off the wings, um, you know, kind of double up and try and overfold edges and, and, and see where the space is and get the ball to the space. Um, so it's, it's probably, if anything, a little bit more freedom within that, within that shape. Um, and as long as, the, you know, the, the, say, the number one ball receiver and, and the forwards are doing their jobs and... and running the lines how we want them to run then it kind of opens up and it, it, it shows in the, the tries that we score that are really good that's from the shape that's been practiced since all the way back in July when we started off 
the, the decision making has to be pretty quick. So when you get the ball immediately in the backfield, you want to have a, you probably talk about a second to have a scan, see what's in front of you. Is there space? Can you have a go? If not, then you want to put the ball back, and you know you don't want to be making our forwards work. Um, you know, in areas of the pitch that they don't want to be in. Um, so it's it kind of just it's decision making on the go, and then obviously if you're counter attacking, then um, kind of as I was saying before, uh, before, it's a bit of free license. You know, just go make it make it happen. Try and work with the guys around you, and uh, you know, and have a bit of fun. Oh, well, they're always a very good attacking side. Um, they have been for the last number of years. Um, you know, the I think they've scored potentially up there with Saris the most number of tries in the amount of games in the Premiership this year. So they, you know, we know the challenge that we face in defence there. Um, and also going to Franklin's Gardens, it's just a great place to go and play rugby. You know, they've got a good crowd that gets behind the team. Um, and to be honest, it's more excitement. Like I, from a personal point of view, if selected, like it'll be great just to get out there. And it's a great track, such a nice field to play on. So, you know, it's it's ideal to, to you know play some good rugby and score some good tries. Hopefully.